You're watching Round Roanoke, your source for what's happening in the Valley. I'm your host, Margaret Hunter Wade. Studies continue to show that Americans are overworked and overstressed. While we can't always change our circumstances, we can find ways to cope with work-related stress. Total Action for Progress aims to equip people with these coping methods through the first ever mindfulness conference this September. Here to tell us more about the conference are Ted Edlick with TAP and Laurie Seidel, a nurse educator with Carillion. Thanks to both of you for being here. Thank you. So this conference is coming up and I think it would be best maybe if we start with the specifics to the conference, date, location, and maybe generally who your speakers will be. Well, it's going to be on September 17th at Virginia Western uh, Community College, start at 8.30 and at 4.30. And the, we have nationally known speakers who are going to be here. Elisha Goldstein, who's a uh, distinguished psychologist, uh, author of Mind Body Stress Reduction Program Workbook and other, thing, other uh, publications. Mm -hmm. Linda Lantieri, who's an expert in mindfulness and education. And we have a uh, introduction by uh, Tim Ryan, Ryan, who is the author of A Mindful Nation. He's a congressman, and uh, he's going to uh, uh, make that introduction at the very beginning. So it's packed with great people. Absolutely, a powerhouse lineup. And it's a day where people can come and learn about mindfulness, but also have an experience of the practice of mindfulness. Okay. So they'll be able to learn from these national speakers and wonderful educators on this topic, but also be able to learn some beginnings some take some first steps in practice. So let's dig in a little bit deeper to what mindfulness is. You know, I kind of touched on it in the open, but mm -hmm. you know, what is this and, and why is this important? Well, it's a the cultivation of an awareness of what you're actually, how you're actually living in the present moment without feeling the need to judge it or be critical of it. Um, and there are a set of skills that you can learn and practice over time so that it really becomes a process for how you live your life with more awareness. Hmm. Interesting. So this is... It's kind of taking a break from the automatic pilot we are on. We are such a doing culture. We're always active, active. And the process of mindfulness is, as Lori says, stopping mm -hmm. and just taking a look. And it's, not a, it's a very easy in, in terms of concept. It's not that easy in trying to change our behavior, our habits, and our patterns. Right. And so mindfulness, a newer term maybe, or something that people are just starting to kind of hear in more regular general language, but we're hearing it in several different facets. Right. So kind of touch on where this might come up. You know, well, you're hearing this. this is getting a lot of traction you know, throughout the country. Um, because mindfulness is steeped in a whole body of scientific and medical evidence at this point in time, you're finding that it's being picked up in healthcare, in business, um, in education throughout our country. Um, there are many places where this is now becoming a set of things that you learn and practice as you either work in a certain environment or as you go through school. And it's so key to helping people focus, to uh, be able to persist in an endeavor, be able to get along with each other, uh, to handle impulse control, to really deal with their feelings and not let uh, negative feelings begin to hamper interaction with other people or into their own lives. All right. And we need to mention stress again because mm -hmm. we really know that it can, the practice of mindfulness can help those who have really stressful jobs. In this conference, we're reaching out to those people. The, that's the audience we want to hear about the conference and hopefully join us. Um, nurses, mental health workers, counselors, teachers, people in the business community, um, first responders. Those are the people who have very stressful jobs. Their lives are so busy and so chaotic, they can really benefit from these. Practices. Excellent. I'd like to add that there's uh, the organization are broad supporting this: uh, Virginia Western Community College, Radford University, uh, Mental Health America in the Roanoke Valley, Family Services, College of Health Science, um, 
uh, out of Roanoke City Schools. So we have a really a broad group of organizations who think that this is so important as to bring nationally known folks into our community. Excellent. Well, I appreciate your bringing it to light through this conference and introducing it into our community and giving people the chance to come out and learn more about it. So thanks for sharing this, and I wish you all the best of luck. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. You can find out more about TAPS Mindfulness Conference and other events happening in the Roanoke Valley on the community calendar coming up at the break. I'm Margaret Hunter-Wade, and you're watching Round Roanoke on Cox 9. Thanks for tuning in.